Hey super savers, if you're all about saving money and keeping money in your pocket, this video is for you. I'm going to show you five ways how you can save on over-the-counter and prescription medication. So if you're all about saving, remember to like this video. And if you're new to the channel, but would love to learn tips on how to save, remember to subscribe. So let's get right into it. Medicine can be really expensive, especially if you have to keep buying it every month. So I found some great ways in America on how you can get some great deals and coupons and also some additional ways on how you can save on prescription medication. Tip number one is a website called Lozo.com. Lozo.com is a website where you can find digital and printable coupons for all types of groceries. In this particular setting, we are looking for coupons in the medicine field. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. First, you go to lozo.com, and then after you click here on categories, and then click down to health and beauty and select on medicine. And then it will take you to a page that will show you all the coupons available that are medicine. Now I'm gonna show you a tip how you can get the exact printable coupons that you probably want. First, go to advanced filter, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of little tabs that say on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some off so we can get the right coupon showing. If you're a person who does not like to sign up for coupons, what you can do is right here it says requirements, you can unclick. For example, it says Facebook, maybe you need to sign through Facebook, you can click that off. If you're a person that does not like to sign up for emails when getting coupons, you can also hit off. And if you are not interested in getting any cashback apps, you can also click that off. For this video, I am gonna keep the brand sign up up because a lot of coupons do require you to sign up, but you can make sure that's off. We're gonna take off cashback rebates because we just want coupons in this video. We hit save and that will update our searches. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of discounts and some great deals on medicines of all types. But one thing about this website is you can hover over and it gives you exact information about the medication. Sometimes on the bottom, it will let you know if you have to sign up on the brand and if this website will take you to another website to sign up. So right here, if you hover, you see save $2 on Rolaids and it lets you know there's 28 counts in a unit. So I'm going to clip this here and I'm gonna choose get now to get the coupon. So right now you'll see, please select coupons to print. And you can just hit select or select all if there's a whole bunch. And then you just hit print coupons and then it will get it ready on your printer. The second way to save on your medication is by going to cvs.com. CVS is a pharmacy based in America where they have a great program called Extra Care. It is their own rewards loyalty program that you can get 2% points back for every purchase you made and you can use those points after to for future purchases at CVS. All you have to do is go to cvs.com and at savings and membership, you will see save with extra care and you just click on that link and then you just sign up and create an account with them and make sure you also download the CVS app through Google or through the Apple store and then you can get deals sent to you and also earn more points. The third way to save is at Walgreens. If you go to walgreens.com and you can sign up for their My Walgreens program, they will offer you discounts and ways to save and you'll stay up to date. What I like about the Walgreens site is if you click on the menu and scroll down to coupons, you will find a whole bunch of coupons that you can save at Walgreens. Now, if you're looking for medicines or over the counter, if you click on all categories and scroll down to medicines and treatments, it will give you a list of all the products that they're offering deals. And then you can just clip them once you sign in with your phone number or Walgreens membership, or you can just make an account down here. And then you can clip all these coupons and use these on your future purchases. You can either buy online or you can use these in the store by using your app. And if you click on view details, it will tell you exactly all the information you need to know for this coupon. My fourth tip on how you can save on prescriptions is by getting a prescription discount card. This is a card that you can sign up for free online or you can get one at your doctor's office. And this is a card where you can give to your pharmacist when you're picking up prescription drug. It has to be a brand name drug and this gives you a big discount off of what you would have paid. This is a great program to use 
if you do not have insurance, you would probably have to talk to your pharmacist if you do have insurance, if this is going to work, if you use those together. So find out first why these prescription cards are free is because this is a way for pharmacies to build loyalty with their customers by offering a discount. Discount cards get a small cut of every prescription that is sold in exchange for helping to promote these brands to be sold at the pharmacy. Not all brands will be covered. So you do have to ask your pharmacist if the card covers this particular brand you're using. You will have to sign up with your information. Please read their privacy policies to see if you're comfortable with that. There are quite a few different prescription discount cards that you can use. I provided a link in my description that provides the top five popular ones and it provides a list of the pros and cons of each card and you can use that to your discretion of what is best for you. And then that leads me to my fifth tip on how to save is by requesting for generic brands of prescription medication. When you're at your doctor's, remember to ask if you can get a generic brand of the prescription that you're getting. Usually generic brands are much more affordable compared to the brand name ones, especially if you do not have insurance, it's more easier on your pocket. So that is a great way. I would just say, talk with your doctor to see if this is best for you and also do some research to see if there's a difference between the generic and the branded name. I cannot give a blanket statement that generic and the branded are the same because it may have a difference. So talk to your doctor and find out if that's best for you. Those are the five ways you can save on your medication and keep more money in your pocket. If you have some more ideas, please feel free to share it with us in the comments so we can learn from each other. And remember, Happy couponing!